Greetings once again. I promised I would do a, another video to let you see me actually try the stuff from the FYE Japan crate. One thing I'm not gonna try, I know what bugles taste like. These are basically bugles. There's nothing big or exciting going on here. I'm not gonna try the bugles. I'm pretty sure I know what potato chips taste like. I'm not really gonna worry about trying the potato chips. They may be randomly flavored, but they're potato chips. I'm good. So, we're gonna start with these guys. These are the little baguette slices. It's an odd scent. So, here's what you get. It's a little baguette slice. There's no bread, outer bread coating. No crust. They're covered in sugar. They're very... It's almost like a cereal. And I'm not sure what cereal it would be, but I think if you dunked these in milk, they'd be cereal. They're totally cereal. Not a bad thing. Speaking of cereal, I'm not gonna be trying the Cocoa Pop, the pretty Cocoa Pebbles things either. I know what Cocoa Pebbles taste like. We'll deal. Kind of doing the savory stuff first. These are the little potato rings. Not really sure what kind of smell we'd get out of those, but when I say rings, they're just little rings. They're crunchy, very crunchy. No real flavor to them. Crunchy, but not really powerful in flavor. They could use some seasoning. A little mini croissant. This is the biggest package that was in this box, is the little miniature croissants. And they smell kind of like these guys. Show you one close up. Again, you would almost make that a cereal. They're not quite as sweet as the baguette ones, but yeah, they're, it's cereal-licious. <sighs> Let's do the one I'm not gonna like. These literally look like sugar smacks, but they say they're milk coffee flavored. They don't smell coffee. That's good. It's sugar smacks. That's what those are. Those are sugar smacks. Dig them. And that's what they taste like. They taste like sugar smacks. There's no big difference in sugar smacks. Wow, kids you've never had sugar smacks would find that really cool. I don't, okay, I get kind of an after hit of the coffee now that I've had some. There's that kick that I don't like about coffee. So, it's sugar smacks. It's like cereal version three in this box. So, I'm dealing with lots of cereal. 
These are the 20th anniversary panda snack cookies. I love the box. You know, this is not your normal box. Okay. Something else that's great about those lovely people in Japan. Individually wrapped. So inside you get an individually wrapped cookie. You see a little panda holding the balloon. Are they all pandas holding balloons? No! Every little individual wrap has its own little picture. Because there's pandas holding balloons. There's also this guy, panda pushing a table. Why he's pushing the table, I don't know. Are there any other designs? No. It's pandas holding balloons, pandas pushing the table. It's chocolate. We know that I'm not a big fan. So, when you open it, what you get... <laughs> this poor guy has apparently had an accident. You get your little panda face. This guy's had a problem. He's got one starry eye. He's got the I've been knocked out mouth. But that's like a piece of solid chocolate. Then you've got a chocolate cream underneath it and then a chocolate cookie circle underneath that. It's interesting because you've got three different flavors of chocolate. The actual chocolate on top itself is really chocolatey. The cream, less so, and the cookie even less than that. So, that's where we're going with that. Got these guys. I've had the um, uh, Koala March stuff before. I particularly like the strawberry. But this is very similar to Koala March. You open it, you get a lovely bag. We will tear open and take out. Let's see if I can figure out what this is supposed to be. Ah! It is. I don't know if you can even see it. It's a little raccoon on a ball. And it's not even Koala March, it's just the cookie. So it's like an animal cracker. He's a little skateboarding elephant. That's all it is. It's an animal cracker. It's not even the koala munch stuff. So, animal cracker cookies. Can't go wrong there. We've got three left. Let's open these guys, these little rock candy stars. I'm sure, what is it, poke, poke chi? The little Pokemon in the egg that that one girl carries around? Like I know. But what you get is a little rock candy. It's not specifically flavored to anything. It's just a little piece of rock sugar. Which is fine. Sport Subu, this is like their little energy candy. And if I can get one out, because these are kind of sticky. You just get this little ball of white. It's not a hard candy. So right at the beginning, you get a hit, hit of flavor. And the flavor that I get is I used to have the um, tropical flavored halls to help my throat. 
at work, and it's like pineapple and tangerine, and this is very much the same flavor. It's not a bad flavor. In fact, I really like it. It's a reason that I had those tropical flavored hauls. I'm, yeah, that's not bad. It's not hard, it's chewy. It's got a slightly hard end shell, but not a hard shell. So that's good. Now we have this um, chewy candy, which is obviously strawberry flavored. And they are again, individually wrapped chewy candies. You can see the little strawberry on there as well, so that we know we're dealing with a strawberry flavored product. And I just got one of the spoilers for next month, and it's um, strawberry mousse Pocky Middies, which are like miniature Pocky. So, this is what the chewy candy looks like. It is not colored, it is simply white. Really strong strawberry flavor. It's like a hard er version of Starburst. But that flavor is really strong. I mean, really strong. You can, yeah. Actually really like that. You can tell, I'm still chewing. It's not gum, but... Mm. Really good. The flavor to that is great. Strawberry and grape are two flavors that American flavor creations always get wrong. But the Japanese get really, really right. So, strawberry, perfect. Last thing we're going to do is we're going to try the drink. And this is, like, it is a citrus flavor, but it is not specifically orange. And you can smell the citrus coming out of it. Okay, so this is kind of a watery tangerine flavor. It's not bad, but it's not the best thing I've ever drunk in my life. I'm gonna finish it over ice because cold changes flavor, as we well know. So, but it's not really a bad product. I am not unhappy with it. I am just, I'm not like, I need to run out and buy more. No, I like it, but I'm not in love with it. So there you go, I tasted stuff. Nothing was horrendous this time, which is a good thing. Um, not like the Black Thunder, which, ugh, keep that away. So, I'll see you again soon. I promise. Bye.